Hi, I'm Derek Smith from SpectraCal. We're going to be taking you through the new Calman version 4.2, uh, controlling the new Panasonic line, their new VT30 for this year, their 2011 series. The system now has access to the displays over the Ethernet port, and we can control the system directly over just an IP address. So the process is we first go into the display, we go into menu, we're going to unlock the ISF control system, so we go to lock settings. We type in the ISF password. And then from there, you'll see that we have an ISF network. This enables us to talk to the display directly over an IP address. So then I enable that. Now the display is waiting for CalMAN to connect to it. Then from the CalMAN system, I've already put in the IP address of the display. I'm going to click on connect, and then we're going to access the display directly. We show that we're connected to the display over the Ethernet port. We also show on the Panasonic display that we're in ISF day mode. So I'm going to select a 10-point calibration. This is new for this year. Prior models was a 2-point, but with 10-point we get a much better control over gamma and grayscale at 10 individual points. So we're going to select our 10-point system. I'm going to do a reset calibration, so we start with factory defaults. I'm going to click on our automated grayscale calibration system. And if we look at the system here, this is a shot that I did earlier of the ISF mode in its uncalibrated state. And we can see that the red, blue, and green lines still diverge a bit. So it's a close system, but we're going to run an automated calibration. The goal for automated calibration is to merge all these lines as closely as we can together. And this is all done with a single button press now. So I'm going to click on the auto calibration button and what the system is doing is we're reading the display from the pattern we're making changes we're writing those back directly to the display and we show you the values as we're writing them back traditionally before this automated system we would have normally had to pick up a remote go into an advanced menu or a service menu and start controlling all these values that process would take even an experienced user some, somewhere between 45 minutes and an hour. With this automated system, it takes about two and a half to three minutes now. So this is our 10 point uh, grayscale calibration. This is a calibrate, uh, series of readings that we did earlier. This is basically ISF mode out of the box. We can, still, we can see that it's close. We still have some of our delta E's above five, um, some right around three, some right at three. Our goal is to get our delta E well under three and get our red, blue, and green lines merged together so we get a more accurate white point. So if we go ahead and press and click this button here, it'll start the automatic calibration process. So the goal is we're reading the white pattern now. You'll see us updating the values that we're writing back to the display. And we should see these start to merge together. And we'll start at 100%. When we finish 100, once it's under a delta E of 3, then we'll move to 90, 80, and we'll just continue working our way down, all the way down to 10%. It takes about two and a half to three minutes to do a fully calibration, full calibration with a single button press. So as we can see, we're now at 80%. We've merged that in. We're moving down to 70. We're merging that in. We can see that our RGB balance is nearly at zero, so it's a good balance. We can see even at 70% here, we got under a delta E of 1, which is uh, uh, the error in the color is not perceivable. And so we'll just continue working our way down all the way from 60, 50, down to 40, all the way down to 10. So by default, our automated calibration system is set to a threshold of delta E of 2.5, and that our goal is to get under 2.5, but you can go in and change the CalMAN options to set the delta E to zero. It takes um, a bit longer to do it, but essentially at zero, how we see at 70% here, we would get zero error all the way across. Um, I did some tests earlier, and we were seeing a calibration se uh, sequence happening in about six minutes. So as we can see here, we just finished calibrating the display. We've got our 10-step multipoint. We were able to merge our red, blue, and green lines to get a much better white point balance. Um, the system can also do a CM automated CMS calibration. And again, I'm Derek Smith from SpectraCal with our new CalMAN version 4. Thank you.